Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Bugs Life action game. So, we beat the Ant Hill last time, now we're going into the tunnels, because this is apparently what happens in the movie. Flick enters the Ant Hill, and then he has to race through the tunnels to get to the Council Chamber. Now, this level's quite different from the first level. It's n not only is it underground, but it's also less open world and, like, explore around, and it's more just like a giant maze to go through. Having said that, it is a very fun level, and... Even though it's quite a bit harder, I'm going to enjoy doing it. So let's get started, shall we? just disappeared completely in the water. <laughs> so basically, Flick is upset that he accidentally wasted a bunch of food. So we gotta do something about that. Level 2, Tunnel Run. Locate the entrance to the council chambers. Yeah, because apparently they made a giant labyrinth in the Ant Hill. I had blamed Flick for that with his Tunnel in a Tunnel project. Yeah! <laughs> Flick agrees. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the tunnels. Um, yeah, it's basically a giant set of winding catacombs going through here. And there's also a bunch of enemies, ones that we haven't seen before. So first off, we've got just the, sp the common yeah. spider enemies. No big deal. These little guys, I think, are... S no, no, they can't be salamanders. They're like grubs. These are grubs. Very simple to get rid of, even though they're tiny. Iridescent lighting. I like it. This is one of the gimmicks on the level. Along these various, like, winding tunnels, you'll find gates with a certain amount of grain on them. You cannot open these gates until you get that much grain. So until, need we... More grain. So until we get 20 pieces of grain, we can't go through there. So this level does have some backtracking to it, which is a bit annoying. I can use. We got our I first green token. Grain. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need more grain. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Easiest yeah. way to get rid of the grubs is to just b bounce them. It's pretty simple. That is a centipede. They will pop out of the walls, much like how the worms pop out of the ground. Oh, come on! And they have large hitboxes, and they are immune to the red berries, so watch out for that. You can go up there with the mushroom. You can make a mushroom there to get back. Because, like yeah. I said, there's going to be some backtracking. First up, telescope. That's where I need to go. It's kind of weird how the exit flag is gray when I'm emulating this. It's normally green. Oh well. We got the worms back. Bye bye, buggy. This is a level where butt bouncing actually does help. Nice. Because you don't get the super berry, I think, for a little bit. And the red berry just kind of stinks. And some of the enemies like that are hard to hit with the red berry because they're so small. Alright, so before we go forward, we now have 10 pieces of grain, which means we can backtrack to that yeah. gate back here on the right, which requires 10 pieces of grain to open up. Progress. So when that happens, there is a gap here. If you fall down that gap, you will instantly die, so you gotta jump over it. Not too bad. Gotcha. And all of this way leads to... a dead end. Yeah, all that just for free pieces of grain. Iridescent lighting. I like it. I'm not saying that this is a well-designed course, oh, yeah. but it's still kind of fun. It's got the cool atmospheric music as well, so... And thankfully, if you get lost, there will be these rocks with arrows on it pointing the towards the exit. This is a new type of seed. You can see this one is, like, striped stu and stuck on the ground. This is a seed you can't change its color, and you can't change what type of plant it makes. So if we hop on this... It makes the tall leaf platform, even though we only have the normal-sized leaf platform. So that's interesting. It could be literally any type of plant, and you can't change it. So that's kind of interesting. We need to keep that in mind. You will encounter those a few times throughout the game. Let's bring the seed back so we can get the next level up for the green tokens. 
The grubs are weak, though. They only take a single red berry to get rid of. <laughs> this is gonna go great. Boop. Also, you can hold the butt bounce button and you can slide around, which is fun. D neglected to mention that in the first episode. Ah, yes. This part. It's a wide open room. Grain, grain, grain. With a lot of grain and a lot of just, just cracks in the you ground. Light it. I like it. Yes, Flake, you, you've mentioned this before. Yeah, so for this, you kind of got to drop the seed on top of these platforms. If you want to progress forward. So there's that pink, the purple uh, token in the air. You can use the classic hop on the mushroom to get up here. This I can use. And we can get that super berry. Super berry! Super berry is going to be very useful on this level. Because there are quite a few enemies on this level, like the centipedes, that we can't destroy without it. And now we got 20 pieces of grain, we can backtrack even more if we want. That's a grasshopper! They can pop out of the ceiling. And they are also immune to the red berries, which is why super berries are so nice. This I can use. We finally found a letter of flick. How wonderful. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, the camera lock button is terrible. All right, we got the super berry. We've got 20 pieces of grain. Let's backtrack and open those gates back at the beginning of the level. Nice one. Oh yeah. Progress. Whoop. This is an interesting this thing. I can use. I still, to this day, do not know what the heck this does. There are a bunch of rocks that you can touch and it'll start glowing. I think it might be like a checkpoint, so if we fall off a cliff, we'll spawn back here. But I'm not sure. I really don't know what they do. And I can't find anything online that confirms what they do. So, your guess is as good as mine. They might just be there for landmarks, honestly. Let's go down this way. So there's an orange seed here that will grow into a propeller plant every time. This I can use. So now we've got the homing berry plant, but I'm not even gonna bother getting that. I'm not gonna have to bother getting any berry except the gold berry. Also, the and caves can tumbling down. the caves can start caving in. That that didn't that wasn't worded very well. If you see you got black shadow. Just avoid it, because there's going to be a rock that falls on it, and it can and will damage you if it lands on your head. Pretty simple. I believe there are 50 enemies on this level, so that's a lot to destroy with the Golden Berry. Bye-bye, buggy. Yeah! This I can use. Cool. Can't tell, is that... Okay, that's not a bottomless pit. You can get out of there. Yeah, the tunnels are pretty confusing, which is why it's important to get landmarks along the way. We'll come back for that gate in a bit. And the walls keep tumbling down. Nice. Oh, hey, sometimes the rocks will make a health appear for you. Hey, thank you, Rock. That helps. Oh yeah! <laughs> the harvesting machine. So there's a mushroom here. I believe we have now connected back to the beginning. So I believe if we were to go this way, it'll lead back to where we spawned at the start of the level. Sure enough. So the, a bunch of the gates are kind of interconnected, which can confuse things a bit. But it's not too bad. Oh yeah, and I've also looked it up. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how the heck to use the harvest machine. Nothing online is helping me figure out what the harvesting, how to attack with the harvesting machine. Uh, rebel. Rebel. 
Okay, if you hold the attack button and run into some enemies, it will kill them for good. Good to know. So, like, the grub here... Alright. So that's how you use it. You gotta hold the attack button. And it doesn't work on all enemies. Oh, should have gone down here to begin with. Whoops. We've spelled it fl. Fl. Nice one. Bye bye, buggy. I mean, this level it has too much backtracking on it, that's for sure, but it's not that bad of a level. I enjoy it. If I were smart, I probably would have waited to get the other purple token from ahead in the level before coming back here so I could not have to backtrack again just to golden bury all the enemies. But oh well, hindsight is 2020. Went down that pathway? Okay. Oh, you don't even need the mushroom. You can just run off the slope and do a big jump. Hi, Mr. Worm. I don't want to deal with you today. <laughs> oh, hey, Grasshopper. Get out of here. Oh, hey, and speaking of which... Super Berry! This I can use. Also, the butt bounce does not work on grasshoppers, in case you were wondering. Oh, excellent. Okay. And the walls came tumbling down. This is a little tricky, so you gotta grow a tall green plant like this, jump on the mushroom, like not the bouncy mushroom, just the regular mushroom. And bada beam bada boom, we've got the gold berry. Can do some damage with this. Oh yeah. Out of Flick's way. Nice one. Aw oh, man. Health disappears fast. And the walls came tumbling down. Cool. We're just missing the K. Man, the anthill was not designed very well if the walls are caving in. Unless the walls are caving in because the grasshoppers are attacking. Uh, are, are you here for the grain? <laughs> that was not my fault that the grain fell off. Yeah. Alright, instead of going down. towards the exit, we gotta backtrack again, kill all the enemies towards the beginning of the level. Because there are 50 whopping enemies on this level. Hi! Okay, next time I get hit, I am going to die. Also, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but Bugs Life Action Game, one really good thing about it, it has the best game over screen you're, you're probably ever. Mad, aren't you? <laughs> I just permanently killed you. You're probably mad, aren't you? It's really easy to miss an enemy accidentally just because of how just because of how many offshooting tunnels there are. That eh. helps. It can be tricky to walk into the health. Flick likes to just, you know, trundle around wherever he wills. I'd say the centipedes are probably the easiest enemies to mix, miss accidentally, just because if you don't walk close to the wall, they might yeah. not appear. Gotcha. 
Not even halfway done with the enemies. Oh my. Now I know why everyone was so upset about Flick about his tunnel within a tunnel project. This is all your fault, Flick. You were just dealing with the nat natural consequences of your actions. Yeah, this leads to a dead end with just a centipede at the end. Bye bye, buggy. You can do the butt bounce to slightly extend the range of your jump to make some of these jumps over the gaps a bit safer. Nice one. Iridescent lighting. I like it. Yes, we know you love the lighting flick. It's you've mentioned this before. Nice one. And the walls came tumbling down. Nice one. Bye bye, buggy. Okay, no enemies down there. That's good. Yeah, as you can see, this level's quite a bit longer than the first oh, one, yeah. and a quite a bit more complicated. Ooh, health. But we're, we still aren't to the really nasty levels yet. Some of them are, like, just unfair to try to 100%. Specifically, there's one level in the next world that I am not looking forward to 100%ing. It's a pretty great level if you're just trying to beat it. But if you're trying to get everything, oh man, it's one of the hardest levels. We also only have 36 pieces of grain, so there's a good amount of the level we still haven't even explored yet. Hi! Ah. Nice one. Rain, rain, nice. rain. Hopefully Hopper won't be too mad about me murdering his cronies. Oh. Man, I forgot how easy it is for them to just drop on top of you. Whoops. Oh, yeah. nice one. This requires only 10 pieces of grain to go through. Wow. Nice one. Hi! Oh, yeah. Could you by any chance drop some health for me? Wow! Thanks! And the walls came tumbling down. <laughs> well that was very handy, thank you for that. <laughs> That's backwards. They're probably oh, upset yeah. about their own life choices, Flick. Don't feel too bad. Oh, that's right. Down. Gotta make the leaf platform on this one. Whoop. Whoop. If you can get a little bit of height when jumping on a pl uh, the leaf platform, even just a little bit, you can oh, jump on the tall one. You here for the grain? Yeah. That's such a coincidence. I'm here for the grain, bye too. Bye, but I'm not here to share it with you. Oh, no. It's right. my grain. Thirty pieces of grain for this path. I think pretty much all the enemies now are just grasshoppers. It's the K. We get a one up. It looks like okay, that's great because I'm probably gonna need it because I have one health left. Because these grasshoppers keep dropping on my head and it's very rude of them. Hi. Hopefully there's one up here. Oh no. This is the worst. I'm missing one enemy. They could be literally anywhere. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Aren't a lot of seeds on this, or seed tokens on this level as well. Alright. Well, this is gonna be a 
fun exploration to try to find the one enemy I missed. It's probably a centipede in the wall somewhere. And I just didn't walk close enough to the walls. New strategy, gonna walk close to the right wall, going backwards, and then coming back, I'll also walk to the close to the right side of the wall. And hopefully we'll be good. Oh, maybe there's like a grub in one of these tiny little crevices. That would be terrible. Aha! Last guy was a centipede in the wall on the right side heading up towards this tunnel with the mushroom and the tall uh, leaf plant. I was just about to give up. I explored literally every single nook and cranny of the level on all sides, and that was like the last thing that I could come to. Whoopee! I'm glad I found it. All free tokens, now we just gotta rush to the end of the level. <laughs> Flick's like, yeah, don't worry, so there were a bunch of grasshoppers, I, we, I spoiled the food for them, but it's okay, because I permanently destroyed, like, all of them, so we don't actually have to worry about it. And then Flick, that's how Flick became a hero. The end. That's how the movie goes. At least, I think so. Unlike the Toy Story 2 action game, this game didn't really have to take a whole lot of creative liberties with the levels. Bugs Life had enough levels, I guess, that were like, they're like, yeah, this isn't super exciting, but we can turn this into... Uh, we can turn this into, like, a 3D platforming level, whereas Toy Story 2, it's like, this is a lot of just, like, talking and not a whole lot, lot of action. So, oh, I know, Al has a space-themed amusement park. And they go to a construction yard. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Flick's like, yeah, I remember that happening! Never too much grain. F L I K spells flick. That's me. Well, all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> and of course, we get our bonus movie clip award. Okay. That's the villain, if you couldn't tell. And it's not just because he's voiced by Kevin Spacey. Although, I must admit, he did a great job voicing Hopper. And Hopper, I think, is a great villain. Well, next level is the Council Chamber, and we're going to have to do that next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone, and look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.